okay hello hello guys uh here we have a dell and this is a lovely and nice machine anyway it's uh it's not turning on it's turning on but it doesn't put it doesn't show anything on the screen uh let me press one more time okay i hope you can see okay there we go all right let's see okay 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 wait you know what let's connect a charger one more time okay it doesn't show any light that is charging or what but it indicates uh there's an um three red light that indicates the led it means there's a, a problem and you will see there there's a light anywhere but it's not showing anything on the screen it keeps on flashing with the right uh, red light uh, i believe that's a code uh maybe saying something anyway let's go ahead let's see what do we have let's see what do we have okay so let's go ahead we will uh, strip this machine step by step when you now it's off let's continue okay here we are so what do we do we have to con uh, to disconnect a battery where's the battery on this machine uh, i can see the hard drive but i can see a battery where is the battery here okay let's let's disconnect the hard drive okay now let's let's try to turn it on again okay it's not turning on okay you know what let's connect a charger and then press the power button okay still doing the same thing it keeps on flashing but nothing on the screen i can't see a single thing on the screen okay uh, and the, anyway let's go ahead okay there we go i got the battery so you have to you have to disconnect a battery uh, these are eight gigs them aside let's put them aside you know what let me use my my own ddr4 let's 
see I won't use a battery I will use a charger okay let's remove a charger so what you do you press the power button for almost 60 seconds Okay, guys, it's still doing the same thing. You can see a light there and uh, the uh, power button splashes a uh, tree, splashing three times with red. So, yeah. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost. okay guys uh, anyway it doesn't look good at all i can see that someone tried to repair this machine before and this doesn't look good at all at all at all i'm gonna be honest uh this doesn't look good uh let me check it's that this doesn't look good at all When you feel it's hopeless When you think that you lost Oh, I will take your hand and We'll rise up from the dust Oh, here we go, go, go Let us heal and grow You won't be alone, we're unstoppable Don't be afraid to show what we're going for This is what we know Here we come back to life, we're still breathing Standing up, everybody's gonna see it Okay, guys uh let's continue but anyway i'm telling you it doesn't look good at all so what you do make sure your meter is on the continuous mode remove the ram uh, one probe to ground okay so we know for sure that there's nothing wrong with our with our 19 volts uh 
I don't have a schematic, but I'm just gonna do a cold scanning. There's a low value here. There's almost a shot here but it's not a direct shot I believe it's because of the GPU okay okay all right I hope you can see there's a shot to ground there's a direct shot here a shot to ground there's a short ground here. What about here? The CPU. CPU is fine. Okay, I hope you can see. Uh, I hope you can see. The pin number 8 are fine, which means the 3.3 volts is fine I'm pretty sure even the 5 volts is fine but the problem starts here there's a direct short here straight to ground I hope you can see all right so in this case I don't think this uh, there's a thing that we can do here why is because the GPU is shorted to ground so there is nothing we can do okay anyway to prove my theory to be hundred percent sure it's easy it connects one prop to ground this is my dc in, um this is my dc bench power supply make sure you inject less than one volt i'm using uh eight millivolt um, so what you do you eject you inject uh less than one volt uh, let me try and then see if there is anything uh, taking the power if there is obvious it's gonna be what it's gonna be the gpu yeah well, something is taking 600 milliamps Okay, now it's taking 800 milliamps. But, believe me, the GPU is faulty. The GPU is dead. Completely, completely dead. Okay someone worked on this spot yeah, i can see the flux it is flux all over the place okay guys can't be a cpu obvious so it's coming here around here
okay i can't really feel uh heat but i know for sure that the the, the gpu is shorted something is taking it 100 milliamps and i can't really feel anyway this is so sad it's sad it's even sad because i saw flaxy so i know that definitely someone was working on this board and the gpu is faulty i'm not gonna waste my time on this there's a straight shot hi boo there is flaxy all over the board i'm pretty sure they tried to reflow a gpu i can see flaxy here even here on the pc actually there's flaxy as some and uh, some stinky fire stuff i don't know what is this <laughs> anyway guys i can't do a thing here i'm just gonna rest my case uh sharp sharp 